When Ivy Rogito was 12 years old, she suffered a traumatic injury while riding her bike home from her best friend's place. Since the road was curved, like I didn't see any cars that were coming in really fast. When I looked both ways, I saw it was safe to cross. And then this car came in like at 60 miles per hour. The car hit Ivy and left her in the hospital recovering at Hennepin County Medical Center. Recovery was definitely tricky. Injuries are the leading cause of death and disability in children in the U.S. Now, 40 trauma centers across the nation have joined forces for Injury Prevention Day on November 18th. I would say live out loud. If you're thinking about something not being safe, then talk to your kids about it. Say, oh, what can we do to make it safer? Julie Philbrook, a trauma prevention specialist for Hennepin Healthcare, says they're seeing a rise in preventable home injuries with more kids distance learning. There's a level of stress, a level of distraction and just more time spent at home. As a result, we're seeing um, you know, kids getting into medications uh, more often, some kids getting out of the house and being unsupervised. They're encouraging parents to take their kids on a scavenger hunt using this home safety checklist and come up with at least three steps to make your home safer. Looking around your house and asking, is it something that's at their level? Can they have access to it? Or can they push the chair over? In Ivy's case, she was able to recover. She's now a senior at Anoka High School, recently crowned homecoming queen. She's thankful for the care and support she received. I never would have been able to go through it alone. I know that for a fact. Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News.